Prime Minister Stephen Harper was focused on the global economy today with a pledge of $600 million to help poor countries weather this recession. The aid announcement was supposed to be the big headline on this last day of the G8 summit in Italy. That, however, was before Harper himself made the big mistake of launching a personal attack on Michael Ignatiev, or something the Liberal leader didn't even say. CTV's Roger Smith has that story tonight. As host of next year's summit in Ontario's cottage country, Stephen Harper isn't yet sure he wants all of the 40 countries that came to this one. G8, we had a G9, we had a G14 uh, or 15, we had a G18, at one point a G19. Then from his international the stage, a partisan attack on Michael Ignatieff for warning that Canada uh, itself that? might someday be left out. Nobody but Mr. Ignatieff in the world has suggested excluding Canada from a meeting of major countries. Nobody. Uh, I think it's an irresponsible suggestion. Mr. Ignatieff is supposed to be a Canadian. Less than an hour later, a humiliating climb down. Harper's press secretary admitted he'd passed on the alleged comment without verifying it, then found out too late that the Liberal leader never said it. Uh, I, I have to apologize to the Prime Minister uh, for misinforming him uh, and ill-advising him. Uh, but most importantly, it's important to apologize to Mr. Ignatieff as well. Press conference, this was so not did a the Prime Minister. Uh, I regret the error and I apologize to Mr. Ignatieff for this error. Uh, Liberals I mean, the, the still angry. The, the factual error is, is secondary to a Prime Minister who uses the international stage not to defend Canada's interests or promote our values, but to take a political cheap shot. The gaffe stole the spotlight from Harper's role as an international player. The leaders launched a $24 billion plan with $600 million from Canada to help poor countries grow their own food. But critics say they failed Africa by not doing more for a continent that's struggling even harder because of the global economic crisis. For Harper, the attack on Ignatiev not only backfired, it also betrayed his constant focus on domestic politics. And perhaps with good reason, after all, if there is an election this year, his rival could replace him as host of next year's G8 in Huntsville. Roger Smith.